हेलो एवरीवन अ वेरी वॉम वेलकम टू नोवेशन आई एम शांतनु एंड आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू द थर्ड पार्ट ऑफ आर ट्वेंटी बिजनेस अवेयरनेस सीरीज जिसमें हम लोग डिस्कस करने वाले हैं कई सारे इंपॉर्टेंट एम सी क्यूज विच विल बी रिलेटेड टू द बिजनेस वर्ल्ड फॉर एग्जाम्पल इट कैन बी रिलेटेड टू बैंक टू वेरियस डिफरेंट कंपनीज विच यू सी हियर ओके सो दिस इज गोइंग टू बी अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सेशन फॉर ऑल योर अपकमिंग एग्जाम्स स्पेशली टिस मैट एंड सी मैट सो प्लीज वॉच द वीडियो टिल दी एंड एंड ऑल्सो अटेम्प्ट असाइनमेंट क्वेश्चन विच विल बी एट द एंड ऑफ दिस वीडियो और फ्रेंड्स अगर आपको कोई क्वेश्चन है रिलेटेड टू योर प्रेपरेशन you can always go ahead and uh, contact me on these social media platforms and also please visit novation.in here uh, you can give various quizzes you can find the pdfs of these video lectures and uh, further if you like the content of novation please go ahead and support novation by going to the donate button all right so with that let's begin today's session the first question for today who bagged the top spot on the hurun global rich list of 2021 so friends uh, it's an easy question here the correct answer is b elon musk so elon musk not just uh, in horun global list uh, but also on other list like forbes uh, he's on the top list okay uh, let's see the ptn so aapko pata hoga recently uh, mukesh ambani he has become the richest man of asia and he's the owner of uh, reliance industries is the chairman basically so he is on the 8th position on this horun global rich list uh then amazon uh, chief uh, jeff bezos uh, was second on this list and first was uh, elon musk okay next and another important question which of the following indian banks uh, has joined hands with jp morgan to use the us banks uh, blockchain technology to speed up overseas transaction okay so uh, kis india ki uh, bank ne jp morgan se partnership kiya uh, so that it can be included into this network of blockchain so here the correct answer is c state bank of india let's see the ptn so uh, state bank of india is now the first bank in india to be included in this blockchain technology network of uh, jp morgan which is a us bank and this tie up is expected to reduce sbi customers transaction cost and time taken for payment so agar aap uh, overseas transaction karte hain aur aap ek sbi ke customer hain then you are going to uh, have you are going to have lesser uh, transaction time and cost also okay next Which of the following companies has recently acquired 99.22%? So almost the majority chunk of the shares uh, from C and S Electric Limited. अब ये company क्या करती है वो हम देखेंगे PTN में. Here the correct answer is D, uh, Siemens. So Siemens is also electrical company and C and S Electric is also a uh, electric manufacturer which uh, produces various electronic uh, sorry electrical instruments. So the deal is said that it is going to be worth around 21,000 crore. Okay, all the uh, majority share has been taken by Siemens. Next is which company has partnered with Yono SBI to introduce a new smart wearable fitness band with digital payment capabilities now yono is the uh, application of sbi which is uh, the full form is you only need one so this is the application uh, so uh, this app and uh, which of these company are going to make a new smart watch or a smart band that can do online transactions so here the correct answer is b fast track so fast track is a subsidiary of the parent company titan it is basically targeted toward the youth uh, people so this is going to join hands with yono state bank uh, and it is planned to introduce a new we- uh, smart wearable band and through this band people can do digital payment transaction under the sub brand called reflex so this is going to be the sub brand under um, f- uh, fast track okay which of the following cricketer has been roped in as the brand ambassador of glenmark pharma friends brand ambassador questions are really very important so here the correct answer is d rohit sharma uh, if you would have watched the advertisement of uh, uh, glenmark pharma it's one of the product uh, of glenmark pharma is um, candid dusting powder so rohit sharma is coming uh, into that ad also and uh, he is going to probably come feature into more advertisements of glenmark pharma okay next which bank partnered recently with the online car sales platform called echo drive to issue a free fast tag wallet on car purchase so if you purchase cars from this uh, echo drive you are going to get free uh, fast tag fast tag through the uh, company so here the correct answer is a 
IDFC First Bank. So it has joined hand with Echo Drive to uh, to issue. Uh, fast tags. Now, fast tags are basically uh, these are tags which you can attach on your, um, you know, motor vehicle, four wheeler, and you can, um, you know, uh, do the transaction through the. Uh, whenever you pass through a toll gate, it can automatically deduct your amount from the wallet through this uh, by detect detecting the uh, card fast tag. Okay, so this is a digital platform needs no issuance fees, no paperwork or security deposit, unlike fast tags issued by others. So uh, you might have faced if you have bought a uh, fast tag that on other platform there is some fees or some uh, paperwork, but here there will be no such paperwork required. Next, uh, Aquaculture Technology Venture Aqua Connect has partnered with which bank to provide loan access to 1.6 million aquaculture farmers in India. So, friends, aquaculture ka meaning hota hai. You are rearing the fishes and uh, all the aquatic animals which are uh, used uh, for consumption. So, here the correct answer is A, Bank of Baroda. So, Bank of Baroda and uh, uh, this Aqua Connect, which is a venture, they have they are going to provide such loans. So, it will provide credit access to you know very low interest rate around uh, 10% under the Kisan credit card scheme. And uh, the fish and shrimp farmers, as I told you, right, uh, they can avail uh, apart from loan, they can also take advisory services, quality farm inputs from uh, this Aqua Connect platform. All right, so moving forward, which UPI handle got approval from SEBI? So it is the Securities Exchange Board of India, which governs the capital market to provide initial public offering IPO applications, enabling users to invest in share market. Now friends, uh, IPO kya hota hai? Jab bhi koi company apne shares launch karti hai, apni ka, uh, mzab, uh, paise, uh, market se paise uthane ke liye, jab wo apne shares launch karti hai, so that first offering is called IPO. Now, you can avail IPO through your net banking, but now SEBI has allowed C, Paytm. If you're having a Paytm UPI code, then you can also, uh, you know, apply for IPOs of various companies through uh, Paytm's app. So by enabling at the rate Paytm UPI to apply for IPO, Paytm is giving millions of investors the ease of seamless, secure and rapid payments uh, to enhance their financial portfolio. Now, uh, we uh, as you know, uh, common people, we really don't invest into stock market that much. Uh, but this is a very good step toward the financial literacy and uh, toward uh, enabling people to invest in share markets. Okay. Next. Name the loss making public sector unit company under Ministry of Textiles which were which was approved for closure by Union Cabinet in March 2021. Now friends, uh, closure ka meaning hota hai, company puri tarah se band kar dena. Disinvestment ka meaning hota hai, gar, uh, sarkar apna share bech deti hai kisi company ko. But yahan par uh, jo uh, baat ho rahi hai, wo puri tarah se bechne ki baat ho rahi uh, hai, uh, close karne ki baat ho rahi hai. So here the correct answer is B, Handicrafts and Handloom uh, Export Corporation. All right, so this company is going to be closed now and all the employees, they have the option to take voluntary retirement. All right, so the closure of HHEC will benefit government exchequer. So government is going to get the, you know, um, they, they, they will get some relief because since this company is not making any money for the government, they can close it. So they, they don't have to pay for uh, electricity and for the wages. All right. By reducing the salary wages of the six CPSC, which is not operating and earning no income at all. And as I told you, all the permanent employees and the management trainees, they have the option to take VRS. Okay. Next, which organization recently signed a statement of intent with Atal Innovation Mission AIM to empower stud uh, school students with cloud computing skills? Very important question. So, uh, Atal Innovation Mission ke saath kisne uh, partnership kiya hai? The correct answer here is B, Amazon. Friends, Amazon is the biggest, it has the uh, largest market share in cloud computing. Inka jo cloud service hai, usse bolte hai AWS, which is Amazon Web Services. Microsoft ka jo hota hai, wo hota hai Azure. Or Google ka hota hai, GCP, Google Cloud Platform. But the majority of market share today is with uh, Amazon, AWS. So this program will introduce fundamentals of cloud computing such as cloud storage, virtual computer, uh, power, uh, web hosting, artificial intelligence, machine learning, virtual reality to students uh, with more than on more than 7,000 Atal Tinkering Labs ATLs in India. So you the jo labs hai yahan pa students, they can take the advantage of learning cloud computing by AWS. Alright, so according to this uh, statement of intent. Uh, next, 
As per Bloomberg's recent data on market capitalization, India remained at which position among top 10 nations? Friend, market capitalization is very simple concept. It means the total number of shares multiplied by the total value of that shares. So that is called market capitalization. For example, let's say, for example, I have a company called X and its shares today are trading at 50 rupees. All right. Now I have a uh, thousand shares in the market. So what will be my market capitalization? It will be 50 into thousand. It will be 50,000. So that is my market capitalization. Similarly, if you add companies ka market, market capitalization, ko add kar le, to India is position pe hai presently. So correct answer here is T, 8th. We are on the 8th position in terms of market capitalization among top 10 nations. Now, to top 3 companies ki baat karna hai, dosto, pe. the top 3 countries are US, Canada and China in decreasing order. Alright, uh, India's benchmark uh, index Sensex surged 78% so far this fiscal year. So, this fiscal year chal raha hai, 21, is Sensex around 78% bad chuka hai. Okay, so that's a huge surge and it has become the best performer among the top 10 nations. So, all countries have their index, so they have best perform kiya hai. Uh, India ke index ne, that is Sensex. Now, index kya hota hai, dosto? Uh, Sensex composes of all the different uh, industries. They pick up certain stocks from different industries. For example, banking uh, sector se kuch companies ko le lenge, kuch insurance sector se le lenge, kuch housing sector se le lenge. Un sab ka uh, ek jo index banaya jata hai, usko bolte the hai Sensex. Iske baare mein aap zarur pad sakte hai. Alright, uh, next, recently how many PSUs were listed for privatization in the first set of companies listed for disinvestment by Niti Aayog? Right, friends here, the correct answer is C, 12. Jo pehli list hai hai, usme 12 PSU companies ko uh, uh, disinvestment kiya jayega sarkar dora. Aur unme majorly jo companies hai, wo hai public sector banks and insurance company. So ye jaldi se jaldi sarkar inko uh, disinvest karna chahti hai because these are loss making and uh, you know government is facing losses here. Um, the hard-earned money of the taxpayer is going to these loss-making uh, companies, which is not a good thing. So this is also to government is ha government always has a you know uh, certain target for disinvestment. So this year's target is to complete the government's target. That's why the government is going to complete the government's target. That's why the government is going to complete the government's target. That's why the government is which of the following organizations signed an agreement with Jai Prakash Power Ventures (JPVL) for acquiring 74% stake? Another important uh, merger question, merger and acquisition. Friends, here the correct answer is PGCIL or Power Grid Corporation of India. So PGCIL presently uh, before this agreement they have they had 26% of stake in uh, JPL Jai Prakash Power Ventures. But now after this 74% acquiring. Uh, now, Power Grid is having the whole control over Jai Prakash Power Venture. Okay, so it is a wholly owned subsidiary of PGCIL. So I hope this is clear. And next, the central government has recently sold off 26% stake in which of the following companies? So friends, you will be surprised to know that government, central government was having certain shares in Tata Communications and now it has sold it off. So around 8,000 crore rupees, around 9,000 crore rupees have uh, come to government's exchequer. And the uh, 10% stake hai, is ka out of 26%, it has gone to Panaton Finvest and the remaining 16% has been given to retail investors. Okay. Next, Japan International Corporation Agency, JICA, signed a loan agreement with which of the following NBFC company for uh, offering loans to Indian firms focusing on clean energy projects. So, uh, JICA is going to uh, give loans to those companies which are into clean energy projects. Alright, so kis company ke saath, kis non-banking company ke saath unhoi tie up kiya hai? Here the correct answer is T, Tata Clean Tech Capital. Let's see the PTN. So, these loans will be provided through a private sector investment uh, finance scheme of JICA and this is going to be co-financed by uh, Sumitomo Mitsui Banking Corporation. So, both these companies JICA and uh, Sumitomo are going to um, be in collaboration. They are going to give these loans. All right. Next, uh, another very, very, very important question recently, S&P Global Rating uh, has predicted what, what's, what will be the GDP uh, growth forecast for the financial year 21-22 for India. Friends here, the correct answer is T, 11%. Uh, abhi tak S&P ne bola tha 10% ki growth hogi, but unho ne recently, do din pehle hi, shayad, uh, 1% se badaya hai apna forecast, now it is 11%. Alright? 
सो आफ्टर टू कंजिक्यूटिव क्वार्टर्स मैं आपको याद दिला देना चाहता हूँ कि अप्रैल जून जब पीक था कोरोना वायरस का उस टाइम पर हमारी जीडीपी में जो फॉल था इट वाज अराउंड 23.9 परसेंट माइनस ट्वेंटी परसेंट अप्रॉक्सीमेटली देन इट बिकेम माइनस सेवन देन इट ग्रू टू पॉइंट इन द प्रीवियस क्वार्टर इन द यस इन द प्रीवियस क्वार्टर एंड नाउ फॉर द होल ईयर देर इज अ प्रडिक्शन दैट इन द नेक्स्ट ईयर इट इज गोइंग टू बी इलेवन परसेंट ओके सो नाउ वी आर ऑन द असाइनमेंट पार्ट आप मुझे इन तीनों क्वेश्चन का आंसर बताइए विच कंपनी रिसीव वन थाउजेंड फिफ्टी सिक्स करोर कॉन्ट्रैक्ट फॉर डेवलपिंग आर्मर्ड लाइट स्पेशलिस्ट वहीकल ए एल एस वी फॉर इंडियन आर्मी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन किस कंपनी को यह कॉन्ट्रैक्ट मिला है जरूर बताइए मुझे नेक्स्ट विच पब्लिक सेक्टर यूनिट लॉन्च ई टेंडरिंग पोर्टल प्रणित टू रिड्यूस पेपर वर्क एंड इंश्योरिंग ट्रांसपेरेंट लेंडिंग अनदर इंपॉर्टेंट वन लास्ट वन इंडियन गवर्नमेंट हैज अनाउंस टू सेल डैश परसेंटेज ऑफ इट स्टेक इन रेल विकास निगम लिमिटेड आप मुझे स्टेक का परसेंटेज बताइए बेसिकली यहां पर आपको ये याद रखना है कि रेल विकास निगम लिमिटेड में भी गवर्नमेंट uh, ने कुछ पोर्शन अपना डिस uh, किया है ऑल राइट सो प्लीज टेल मी द आंसर इन द कॉमेंट सेक्शन ओके so friends thanks a lot for watching i hope you also found this session really very exciting because for me it was really exciting all right so it if it has helped you please give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and subscribe to novation and again i will request you that please visit novation.in novation really needs your support so please go ahead and uh, go to the donate button all right friends so with that i'll close today's session i'll meet you again uh, very soon so bye bye and please take care